Ang kutsa. Ang tunun yung brea, paka, mento, kay tumra ka ni tayo piti sa mga ka. Ay, mun nang tumra ka sa dap sa kaykam sa say, ang yung brea, samrach. เลยตำรวจตรวจหมดเลยสำนักสมบัติธนาคารกาปีเราบอกสะใสได้มีนหาเสนียมปีทีซีเดวิวผมบนรอยสายสมบูรณ์องค์จุลวิญญาณสำร
ta lục sạ xây ban spot hơi đơn nữ ba ban spot hơi hơi là nơi dương pháp âm pisit nâng cả đơn đại dịch cách bỏ lục nông lục cho rùm nông chìa thuê chìa sạ xây nơi dịch phố mốc ong chùm nguyên dùm rè âm Lúc nông niêm lúc chia sạ xây, nếu khăn nông cách tâm đại ca này tệ bị thi xạm ra cá chẳng phù mục ông cho nông dùm ra ní. Lúc ách bạc đất xây, khăn nông cách chất lợi tốt tên nâng xùm nù, rứ ca xông ôi lúc thư vương ông nà hồng nàng nà mùi, rứ chá ơn, đại nôm ôi đạp vỉ rút, phiếp lươi khuôn ảnh. Sức mình phư sạc hay cam bạc chăng nâng khuôn ảnh. Miền này tha, đại xa tay chẳng lợi, rứ ông nà hồng nàng rứ bọc lúc nụ hơi, đại nôm ôi lúc nâng trời tựa rông, ca chọt Khnong niêm lục chia sạ xây được khnong cà phê đo được khay cam được khnong cây đầm nà cá sạm nà cá giữa buồng mộc ong cho đôi nhụm rẻ ní lục trời tại chay top rồi sầm nua tiếng lái đại phi kí được ong nhụm rẻ xuôi nhụm buồng lục lược lên tại sầm nua đại nòm ở chay top rồi bắt lục rứ co cá ắt tha thì bay rồi bắt lục mui rì chả ơn đại nòm ở đại bị rồi được phép lược luận ấy đôi dương man prap ampi sít rồi bắt lục rồi hơi ở bay mình đi khnong niêm lục chia sạ xây trở tại chay ở cả na để bật đại lục bàn đắng bàn lứ bàn khơi bàn chấm rứ thọ miên bọt bị sao chuột bật tia rứ bàn thưa cao sủng kết đại tuần nơi bật đại hết rứ hết ca từng lái đại bẹp quan từ nương sầm nu đại phe ký rứ cha cầm để ông nhầm rác xua lục tại lục yul thế ông bị sét nâng cả ra đây như cách ní ba nhà mát yul Okun hai ta luk thua ban phát đo ta khai kam Rư phát đo kai sầm phía chìa mùi nâng nẹ sư bằng kết Nê kè lai thay cho kam sư bằng kết đại rửa tế Hai bà sân bà miến thua lọp thư bà màn đoán Hai phương nơi tì kè lai nạc lạc Bà hạt kì chọc màn thua sạc khai kam Bà hai chìa phí bài đo hai con kì nhằm màn trăm Màn trăm thang ngay màn trăm Pì lì lì Chồng luôn phí bài đo hai Lúc chăm thật cả thuê nó thuê nơi tìm cái này nào thế? Thuê nó không thể bỏ nhiều nhóm ốc của nhóm mạng tòa Bà học quân hay Môn năng chô là một Một ông nhóm đẹp này bên ít ta lục bàn bình nết mơ là rực công bàn án nơi cầm đoạn hết Đại lục bàn phát đo tất khai cắm Cả vì lục thuê Nhiệm bì là một môn Nơi nửa tiết bảo lưu cả lòng mộng đi Đã mây đùm lực ca cho anh chăm đầy rửa tí Bà hạt chăm ăn bình đất bởi rùi rõ là hỏi Tam thầm mặt phía đầy lục ách đắng Nâng lục cho anh chăm ta lục ách bình chạy bàn đầy tí Thà cầm nọt hết để sạch đạp nhầm đôi bởi lục Đầy lục bàn án Đã mây đùm lực ca cho anh chăm nô Cứ bất chìa trầm trấu Rư viên xong xa rộp Si dùng bạc khí nê nâng chăm lại đầy lục bàn phương thầm phía Chị mùi nâng nạ sơm kết ca phí môn đại lục hạng thạ thuê nơi tiết bảo lục nông đại rửa tế Bất bật khát mên Nơi khăn nông lòng phê môn đi ta lục bàn Ở lần này lục bàn tử tuôn mê tử bí bất xa Hỏi nè Đời miên ca chất tăng bí ông nhập rẻ Tạm là dịa ông hiếp con phía xa xây nâng nạ chùm nín Tạm tầm là xông bảo lục một nít ta lục ban bậc xa bị phía xa giữa bao giờ mới nâng mê tử vi bao lục hai đứa nữ Bà hạt trong bán bán bậc xa giữa bao giờ mới nâng mê tử vi bao giờ mà thuộc hai Lần nít chìa ca là ổn hát đây xa lục miên bán bậc xa rụi hai Bần tay mình mên mên nây thá Ông giống đấy mình ảnh ảnh nhạt ai lục bậc xa Chúng mình đang bây giờ bị bỏ lúc to để tiện nổi tì Nơi khăn ông ca sẽ đáp xùm nụ Thế anh lúc thì anh bây giờ bị bỏ lúc xa bỏ lúc Cứ sẽ đáp xùm nụ Đại xù ở bởi sân bờ xùm nụ ná Rưu có ca đại thông bài lúc Thuê ca thả thị bài rưu á an nà mũi Đại tầm nông chìa Nói chẳng lời tốt bỏ lúc Nóng cứ miên là đập hiếp nông ca Bị rốt đập hiếp lực luôn ai Đã bị rốt hiếp lực luôn ai Nước lúc Ai chẳng bỏ xa dự báo Chúng mình đang bây giờ bị bỏ lúc Đồng bây thả tài chá lái Rưu có mình chá lời Sất chá lời chứ sất bỏ lúc Chá lời Rưu có mình chá lời Nước cứ chìa Sất bỏ lúc Bản tế xong bài chá bác thá Tòa tế tầm nua ná đá Bìa miên là đập hiếp thả lật là đập phá này cả trở lại tốt nóng cư chìa nâng phá bị bạ nâng bị thật lẹ một lần lúc đây xa vì ai đã bị đột phép lực luận ảnh hay 
tỷ phí mỗi tiết đầm bay bạch bạch chèo cho bà lo thằng này ní bà này thà lo sầm nua trời thay top từ nâng sầm nua đại sùa đòi phải ký đi chặt cầm ông dùm ra chậm lại top nâng mình men tất tại biệt là tập hợp với chậm biên điện ao tì nông cạn này đây mình đắng cứ lục ai chơi thả mình đừng ông bị hại cá mình đừng mình lứ mình đại ban từ tour bò đầm biên ấy cứ chơi mình đắng coi chi chậm lại đây để cho bà lo tí bà nhóm sáu đáp bán sáu đáp bán cho bà lo hơi bà hay cá sốt đánh đau chỉ buồn sợ say đụng ní ăn vót tam bị thiên cá sốt mùi tuôn này bị thiên tây khăn nóng ông nhầm ra đau bị tay cá chun tơ thả bị nhá sốt đánh đau sợ say đụng ní môn phía kia đầu tây tiết này đường cái đầy là sôm chơi sợ bị nhá Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, uh, Mr. Whitman. I'm going to start with some questions uh, relating to the period from 1973 to 1976 when you were a, a district, district soldier in Tramcock District. Um, and in your OCIJ interview, D-125-129, uh, at the start, you indicate that you became a Khmer Rouge soldier in late 1973, and that you fought Law Noi soldiers as part of Regiment 13. And my first question for you is whether you were involved in the combat with Lon Nol forces no, uh, when Ang Tassam uh, was captured uh, by the Khmer Rouge. Uh, trong chiến năm một con một mươi chín sáu bảy nhóm châu tộc còn tộc hào tộc còn tộc đập bòn số máy máy cả hóng hào tộc tộc đập bòn tuần bón nâu nâu con vậy đấy mà thầy mui hay con pol cho mặt đắng mặt mặt chám tôi không biết con pol biết là thấm vậy đấy là thấm Nak nak amlong cina mupu amu raja sabai. Dalam cina mupu amu raja sabram. Pil kemai kaham. Bay punum peng nyom lang tonau kong pol. Piroy dop. Wira zina thom dop bay. Kong pol lek bay. Uh, thank you. Uh, before we get to um, April 1975, uh, do you remember uh, the, anything in regards to the capture of Ang Tassam? Now, in um, your first OCIJ statement, D-125-129, at Khmer ERN 00224788, English 00231673, through 74, and French 00234574-75. through 75. 
you stated that you were in Takao Provincial Town on the 17th of April 1975 prepared for combat, that the provincial town fell the following day, that is the 18th of April, and you then describe what you saw at the time as follows, and I quote, I saw the Law Noel soldiers raise white flags requesting to surrender. I saw, continuing later, I saw fully armed Khmer Rouge soldiers order the people to leave toward the west along National Highway 22 up until 5 p.m. when it became quiet. End of quote. My first question, follow-up question is, what was done with the Lan Nol soldiers who surrendered in Takao Provincial Town? Were any of the Lan Nol soldiers or officials, in particular high-ranking ones, arrested during that period? Do you know a site that was called Office 204 that was located in Prey Kaduk in the northwest corner of Tramcock District? I'm going to skip ahead in time for just a moment here um, and refer you to uh, Interview E319.1.25 uh, Mr. President, um, perhaps at this time, um, for ease, uh, could I provide a copy to the witness and his counsel of all three of his OCIJ statements so that he has them uh, if he to refer with your leave? Now, um, the statement I'm referring to, uh, Mr. Witness, is in your third statement, which is E319.1.25, at answer number 13, where you stated, quote, after leaving Krang Tachan, I was sent to pray Kudu and then to many other places, but all within the southwest zone. And quote, um, can you tell us uh, when you sent, were sent to pray Kuduk, were you assigned to an office called Office 204? And if not, what was it that you were assigned to do in pray Kuduk? Mà, 
tôi nấu con pol pi rồi đó với đại na thốt nọ bay mình Are you saying then that at no time did you work in the area of Kraykadok or work near an office called Office 204? But, what do you I want to ask you uh, some questions, further questions about the events uh, immediately following 17 April 1975. Uh, we've heard a testimony in this trial uh, from a witness, Kao uh, Chandera, and in his uh, testimony, uh, OCIJ statement E3 slash 1153 at English 00205090990 Khmer 00172044 and French 00205095 uh, this witness described how evacuees were gathered at a pagoda called Wat Champa in Tapem commune after 17 April 1975. And he estimated, and I quote, 70% of the incoming evacuees at the Wat Champa center were killed at Prang Tachan, Prabe Prey, Office 160, and Office 204, end of quote. Can you tell us whether evacuees or new people in Tramcock district were gathered at Wat Champa following the 17th of April 1975 and what happened to them? When did you return to Tramcock District after the 17th of April 75? When was it that you came back to Tramcock? บาดខ្ញុំមិនបានធ្វើការនៅក្នុងស្រុកត្រាំកក់ទេរកខ្ញុំជាទាហានធ្វើការនៅកងពលពីរយដបវិរៈដាធំដបៃ where were you located when you were a soldier in Regiment 13? Are you able to give us any uh, general description of where you were normally located in the period after 17 April 1975 for the remainder of that year and into 1976? เปิ้ลนุ่มลอมอ่านประหารที่เมื่อแค่ยังเราคุณนุ่มละเรียย
วายทมอปล่อยมอมันเจ้าโตเราสกปรกก่อนนัดกรีวงจะทั่วสายไอ้นกกรุบกันไหลนัดทั่วสายมันมันจำที่กันไหลเปิดประกอบเราะว่าเราเรียนรู้ว่าเราเรียนรู้ว่าเราเรียนรู้ว่าเราเรียนรู้ว่าเราเรียนรู้ว่าเราเรียนรู้ว่าเราเรียนรู้ว่าเราเร
And so it's clear my question for you, Mr. Witness, is to uh, on the initial pages of these statements uh, contain the names and identifying uh, information about these individuals. If you could look at uh, that information for both individuals, my question is whether these two persons were part of the group that was sent to Krang to Chan at the same time as you. ក្រុមតែមួយជាមួយនឹងលោករឬក៏អត់ទេមុនពេលបញ្ជូនទៅក្រាំងតាចាន់ the first person uh, in D40 slash 20, referring to Khmer page 0016-5329, English 0043-3568, French 0052-4317. That person indicates uh, that he was sent to Krang Tachan during the rice harvest in 1976. The second person who you identified as being assigned to Krang Tachan at the same time as you, and this is in E319.1.33 at answer 15, that person testified that he was assigned to be a guard at Krang Tachan in October or November 1976. Does this refresh your recollection that it was late 1976 and not 1977 when you were assigned to Krang Tachan? បាទនៅដែលនៅចុងឆ្នាំ Thank you uh, for clarifying that, uh, Mr. Witness. Um, in regards to the function of Krang Tachan, you made the following statement in interview D-125-129, and the page references are Khmer 0022-4789. English 00231674 and French 00234575 where you said the following, quote, Krang Tachan was a re-education office. I heard people talking to one another say that a re-education office was a site to kill people and that those people brought into the site could not live, meaning that they all died. End of quote. Can you tell us um, who, who it was that you heard describe what a re-education re office was? ចំលឺប្រជារាស់ខ្លាយថាមន្ទីរអប់រំស្រុកត្រាំកកនេះគឺជាកន្លែងសម្លាំ <coughs> Can you tell us during the time, the entire time that you worked at Krang Tachan, at the Krang Tachan Re-Education Center, were there any teachers there?
มาดขมิเจนี่ You have described, and you made a reference to this. You've described in your OCIJ interviews how you initially worked as an outside or external guard at Prang t c h a n but later were assigned to work inside the compound and to help write documents for the prison chairman. And uh, I want to first. Uh, ask you some questions about how prisoners arrived at Krang t a c h a n uh, during the entire time you were there. That is, period both that you were working outside the prison and the period you were working inside. Uh, in your interview, D-125-129, at Khmer 00224789, English 00231674, and French 00234529. You describe how people who had been arrested were, and I quote, walked in with their arms tied tightly behind their backs. End of quote. Can you first tell us who it was that brought the arrested people to Krang t a c h a n with their arms tied tightly behind their backs? มาเปได้เก็บไปจูนมนุษย์มอกย่อมมันนั่งเชคางนากินอาจารย์ได้ปั้นตายจูนมอกปิดคมภูมิกี่มันจูนมอกคุณพูดถึงกิจจองไฮสไลด์กิบจูนหมอกปอนแท้มันดังจีบิคางนะเนี่ยจับทีย่อมมันดังเล่มีเพิ่มเติมอีกทีนะฉันไม่ถามคุณว่าใครถูกจับทุกคนคือผมถามคุณว่าใครเป็นคนที่ส่งพวกเขาไปทีครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่งพวกเขาไปที่ครังตะชานที่ส่ง Uh, that was written by an individual named Meng Tri E. Um, that is in evidence in this case. And I'm referring to document E3 slash 2120. E3 2120. Uh, this book uh, refers to interviews uh, that Meng Tri E. Conducted in December 2000 and October 2001, of a person who he identifies as, and I quote, Sok Chanta, A.K.A. Deutsch, former Tramcock District Reeducation Center typist cadre. My question to you is. Do you remember being interviewed about Krang t a c h a n in 2000 or 2001 uh, by a person named Meng Tri E? Uh, 
Have you ever used the name Sok Chanta as an alias? Let me uh, uh, read to you a short uh, excerpt uh, to see if that refreshes your recollection. Uh, in this book, E3, at 2120, uh, and the excerpt is at English 00416390. Uh, the, these excerpts have not been translated, uh, the translations haven't been completed yet, uh, so I will just read them into the record we've made request for the translation. Um, at this page, uh, the following statement is made, and it's attributed to the person who he interviewed uh, that he identifies as a typist from Krang Tachan with the alias Deutsch and to a guard named Sang. These former cadres reported that its prisoner escorts rang a bell that hung from a mango tree just west of the center. Upon hearing the bell, the cadres came out to meet the prisoners and led them to cells inside. End of quote. Um, First, was there a bell outside the Krang Tachan com compound that was rung by the militia when they arrived with prisoners? I'm now going to turn to some questions about the number of prisoners detained at Krang Tachan. In your interview, uh, D232-93, at answers 19 through answer 20, you gave the following testimony. Question. While being sent, were prisoners blindfolded? Answer, they were not blindfolded, but only their hands were tied. Each time when prisoners were tied and walked, there were about five to six of them who were tied and walked one after another. Question, how many prisoners were there to the max maximum? Answer, sometimes there were 20 people, sometimes there were three or four people. The first thing, end of quote, the first thing I wanted to clarify, when you referred to a maximum of 20 prisoners, to, to what were you referring? Were you referring to the most prisoners who would arrive on any day? Were you referring to the maximum capacity of the prison? What were you referring to when you referenced there being uh, sometimes 20 prisoners? ຈໍາລາຍໄດ້ນິຍາຍຖ້າມີນະໂຕບໍ່ດອກ <coughs> So just to clarify, you were talking about the arrivals of prisoners, is that right? Matt. Uh, we've heard 
a testimony in this trial um, from a witness, a civil party, excuse me, a Sai Sen. Uh, he has described how there were originally two buildings for detention of prisoners, but that during the period of democratic capture sometime after 17 April 1975, an additional two buildings were built. And my first question for, for you is, uh, do you recall uh, that the number of buildings uh, at Prang Kachan that could be used for the detention of prisoners? And can you give us uh, an estimate of the capacity of each of those buildings? How many prisoners could be held in each detention building? Let me just um, come back to this one once. Uh, and I'll, let me make the reference. Uh, this is the testimony of Sai Sen uh, at E1 slash 257.1. That is the trial transcript for the 5th of February 2015 at approximately 10 50, uh, 53. Uh, he described how because of the increased number of prisoners, they built two more buildings, which he described as being to the east of the compound. Does that refresh your recollection? Do you remember there being two additional buildings that may, were not inside the immediate uh, or the inside compound, but were built just outside it? One of the uh, uh, documents uh, in evidence this trial is a report uh, for the month of November 1977 uh, from the prison. And with your leave, Mr. President, I would like to provide this document to the witness and display it on the screen. It is document E3 slash 21. 09 at Khmer page 00068014, English 00276555, and French 00290277. With your leave, Mr. President, may I provide this? to the witness and display it on the screen. Um, Mr. Witness, I would direct you to the what is paragraph one of this document. And if we could show that part on the screen, uh, it is a report regarding uh, the prisoner numbers for the month of November 1977. It states that 75 new prisoners entered that month that 92 prisoners were purged, six died of illness, and one 
a lieutenant colonel was removed to sector by Ankar, leaving a total of 85 prisoners as of the end of the month. My first question is, do you remember reports like this being prepared on a monthly basis? Do you recognize the handwriting in this document? And when you refer to Deutsch, who are you referring to? Just so the record is clear, Mr. Witness, there were two cadres uh, at Krang uh, who had the alias or name Deutsch. There was yourself, and then there was also the person who you just identified as the deputy of the prison chief. Uh, am I correct? This um, report uh, states that one person, a lieutenant colonel, had been removed to sector by Ankar. Can you tell us what did it mean uh, for a prisoner to be removed to sector? Was there a security office for the sector in which Tramcock District was located? Let me just follow up with one more question. Were you ever aware uh, at any time of prisoners being transferred from Krang to Chan to other prisons. Uh, how often were prisoners transferred to other sites? And do you have any information uh, as to where it was that these prisoners were sent in late 78 or early 79? <laughs> Uh, 
I made uh, reference uh, a little while ago to the testimony of one of the civil parties uh, who we have heard, uh, a man named Tsai Sen. Um, in your OCIJ statement, uh, D-125-129, at Khmer 00-22-47-90-91, English 00-23-16-75, and French 00234576. Uh, in that statement, you identified Sai Sen as one of the surviving prisoners from Prang to Chan. Uh, can you confirm that Sai Sen was a prisoner at Krang Tachan during the entire time you worked there? So you've uh, just confirmed that Sai Sen was there when you arrived. Did he remain a prisoner at Krang Tachan? during the time that you worked there. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I'm not sure I heard something different, I think, than uh, the prosecution. I heard the witness say that he was a former prisoner. Um, so, asking the question back, he was a prisoner, is not reflecting the, the testimony. I heard him say that he was a former prisoner. And then he said he was there when I arrived at Krang Pichan. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that he's a prisoner, does it? Let, let me clarify. When you said that Sai Sen was at Krang Tachan when you arrived in late 1976, was he a prisoner? And when you say he was let out to, to cooking, was that during the daytime? And what did he do at night time? And did Mr. Sai Sen remain at Krang Tachan the entire time you were there? I'd now like to turn to a, a different subject, um, the a subject of interrogations of prisoners at Krang Tachan. And in your OCIJ statement, D. 125-129 at ERN Khmer 00224790, English 00231675, and French 00234576.
you provided the following testimony. And I quote, I saw them take prisoners for beatings and interrogations every single day at the interrogation room approximately 50 meters from the building where I worked. I heard the prisoners' screams coming from the interrogation room. Can I start by having you describe for us uh, where the interrogation room was located in the Krang Tachan compound? Mr. President, with your leave, uh, I'd like to provide to the witness uh, at this time uh, document D-125-220.2 that's D-125-220.37, and this is the OCIJ map or diagram of the Krang Chung compound. Uh, with your leave, I'd like to provide that to the witness and show it on the screen. And Mr. Witness, if you could look at this diagram, if you can show it on the screen, uh, can you tell us, uh, and I direct you to the um, bottom half of the uh, compound map, there is a building that's identified as the interrogation house towards the south side of the compound. Uh, can you tell us, does this map accurately show the location of the interrogation house at Krang Tachan? Can you tell us where you believe it was located uh, in relation to where it is shown on this map? Let me ask you a, try to follow up on that. Um, do you remember there being a kitchen or dining hall for the guards that was located next to or nearby the interrogation room? Was there a separate dining hall for the guards, a separate place from where the prisoners ate? Let's, let me ask you an open question then. Where was it that the guards 
ate their meals ta, in the prison compound? Yim, and where was it that the prisoners ate their meals? Let me be clear, I'm asking you about the period where you were located and working inside the prison compound, a period where you indicate you were helping to type documents. During that period, where was it that you would eat your meals? And where did prisoners uh, eat meals? I want to make sure that I'm not having a translation issue here, so instead of dining hall, I'm going to ask you about the kitchen, kitchens at the compound. Were there kitchens at the Krankachan compound, and if so, where were they located? And so where was it in the compound that meals were cooked? ខ្ញុំដូចពិបាកនិយាយត្រង់ថាធ្វើនៅកន្លែងណាគ្មានលក្ខណ៍កន្លែងបិទប្រកត <coughs> Before I finish this, uh, this uh, the subject of the kitchens and 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 where you ate meals was. You said that you ate together with your unit of six uh, during the time you were working inside the compound. Was there a a building or a specific location where you and the other guards ate your meals? គឺនៅមកច្រកខាងលិចមួយនឹងមកច្រកខាងកើតមួយហើយមកក្រុមនោះមានគ្នាបៃណាគឺយាមកខាងមកធ្វើខាងកើតគឺមកខាងមកធ
bắt bắt đầu pin là sầm rạ hơi hay một lần sầm rạ nó còn bẹ sầm chụp điệp chun đầu tư thả pi nhá, rùm chân thả mấy pin nằm một năm nàng đầu mình đang đọc lần này cứ miền pi là mùi lợt tiền đi, tiết thì không cao tua tua đánh đấu cho bùa xạ xây đúng đi, hay ông chụp điệp có sầm chụp điệp hoàng đế thả ông chụp điệp bàn sầm rạch đầu vị thiên ca ca pi đầu xạ xây pi thi thi đại bi du bổn buôn rồi xài sụp bún đây là rùm miền ca mình mình chân nhà xây nhà than nâng mình mình chân như rụp hiệp sạ xây ní từ ao sạ thiên đại chun hay nước nông sạ na ca lư sạ đập sạ khay cam sạ xây rụm ní bà con sạ xây từ bàn bằng cọp mình ao sạ xây thọt rồi rụp hiệp bà con sạ xây ní bà tổ bay rụp hiệp ở pi môn cả đời nên xong chia điệp bài lần ní đào pi là sầm rạ và thầy trọng hãy ôm mẹ bà ca sầm rạ chấp bà pi ní tổ tước hôn đồng mong bà hay lời này sạm nạc ca ngày này cứ dừng ông chấm ra sạm ra chờ à sạm nạc ca thầm đi hay sạm nạc ca sắp thay cam sạ thay rụng đi lưu bọn tôi thư nơi ngày một phê bầy khai công phía cho năm bì bọn đọc rám chập đàm bì mong bọn buồn bật tư hay sạ thay cả sạp thay cam bọn lúc bọn tôi chọc nơi lại tí ông chấm ra có hành chương nơi lúc một bọn tôi bọn tôi thay cam nơi ngày tìm một phê bầy khai công phía cho năm bì bọn đọc làm tiết đời chấp đam bị mong và buồn phật tử hay mê tử bị phật xa xa xây đôi khi này xong chơi cho rùm tam và cả về lý để bàn cầm nọt đi xong chơi lúc mê tử bị lúc đôi phá rí xong group ai đam bát thiên đôi khi nhóm bạn chuẩn bị tới hàng ông gặp hiệp quan pi nâng xạ xây rồi hái tha nơi ngày chăn ti mà phải bay khai công phép nam pi bòn đập ram nơi pe bắc khi nhóm mình ai miền bắc thì miền bán thế khi nhóm ai miền bắc thì miền bán nơi pe rồi siêu và xong ở quận ai đam bát thiên bà ông quân đây cả chuẩn phần mềm này ông chỉ biết mình bắt đăng phần mềm này bị môn thế hay ông chỉ biết đăng lấy lộc à chỉ miền này chậm nua mình bị bắt xá chậm nua là nông nông pel đại lục phần địa phần mềm này nông cạn này đi bà đây chỗ này ông chỉ biết anh chơi như lộc một con to phần đầu thấy cắm nửa tháng ngày thì một phải bấy khai phép trong bị phần đập rám bị liền mong chấp bị mong muốn bực được cho nên lúc ai bờ tập lập từ căn thì làm nơi rồi có cái này đây lúc sạn nơi ở bình bàn hơi hay xong chơi chơi rùm tam ca cầm nọt đi hay phía kia được cái này cứ ở trong đó xong chơi phía kia chơi rùm để không cái chấm đại ca sạn đại ca để nâng thưa bắt to nơi thay tìm phải bay khai công phép cho năm pi còn đập rám chấp đam mà mong muốn bực hay bộ cọp ơi mình trai rót ba tala cá rồi mua cho mùi nương ao cái phiếu công việc xã thầy đừng để chuẩn bị nông cai chun xã thầy rụm đi tập lập từ căn ti cái này để có sẵn nợ nữ bình cho hay nương ao chơi quạt tập lập một chỗ rụm sạm đá cá bắt to tập bắt đầu từ hay cắm nơi thầy tìm một phải bay khai công việc cho năm pi còn đập rắm ở bàn 
มุนเมาผมบดปรึกประกอบอาญาโดยอัมตีคุ้มแข้งนองคลวนโลกรุนเชียนนึงโลกเขตสมพรเตกันตีคุ้มแข้งในอวตกรเป็นเจ้าเนประกอบอายนวลครอบอ้อยประกอบอายนองคลวนก้อนตลอดมาโจรวมสำนักการในวิ่งเดือดไงตีนไผ่ใบไข่กับเพชรชนะปีปอนดอกแรมไผ่บานมุนเมาผมบดปรึกสำหรับเจ้าสมเจริญกราวเชิง